got to tell. Pull him out. Pull him out. I got him. Don't oh. get bit. Don't get bit. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. She got me. I was lied to. We should start there. Yeah, buddy. Oh. Oh. Here we are. We're here at the Everglades. We are in the Florida Everglades. Did you not like the accent that I started with? How are you just going to ignore that? Accent? Honestly, I think it was a little, little racist, but neither here nor there. Something I've been intrigued by for a very long time. I've Something I have not been intrigued by for a very long time. The place is intriguing. It's a little, a little sketchy, I'm not going to lie. And it is just starting to get dark, which means we're going to be stomping around in ankle to knee deep water, probably, in the Everglades, which is infested with not only pythons that we're hunting for, uh, but alligators, poisonous snakes, feral hogs, panthers, all kinds of stuff. Like, what we need you to do is like this, comment on this, subscribe, subscribe to this. So all. you see us All the more. things you do on YouTube, whatever you need to do, you all need to do it. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Listen, man, y'all can't be fucking with me out here, man. We've done some crazy shit to this point, but uh, I don't believe we've done anything as crazy as this. Oh, cheers. Listen, I can wrestle a gator. Hey, I, 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 love, I love to see I it. I wrestle worse, man. I wrestle worse, too. Your mom was one of them. Oh! Zinger! Sorry, Miss Coonahan, I love you. All right, well, hey, we're back out here. Well, hey, it's funny how you thought you were starting it. Well, hey, we're back again with our homie, Python slash Cowboy. That's it. Mike? Hey, whatever you want. The mics are here. That's it. Mike, That's it. what can we expect out here today? Because we did the iguana hunt earlier. Uh, this is going to be a little more kind of creeping around on these islands, looking and waiting for that anticipation to the big action. Sounds like it's your speed, man. It's right up your alley. Moose is going to bring us around and uh, help us out. hopefully put us on a big snake. Yes, sir. Let's go catch some snake, boys. Man, that thing went down quite a bit, huh? <laughs> is that another fat joke? I'm about tired of you and these fat jokes. We're moving away from civilization now, boys. We have uh, 1.5 million acre, acres of impenetrable swamp that is the Everglades and uh, we're heading out into it. You know, the iguanas affect our infrastructure, the pythons affect our native wildlife more than every, anything. Um, you know, we're not just out here hunting snakes to look cool, you know, or to have fun. Uh, there, there really is a purpose to it. Uh, these snakes are eating all of our native wildlife in the Everglades. And our, our wildlife down here is already struggling as it is. And uh, the only predator they have is us. So we got to get out here and, and do our job. That's him. We're going to uh, try to catch him. So we got an iguana up here in the tree. And uh, we're going to try to grab him. Someone's going to knock him out of the tree and someone's going to grab him. Okay, I'm going to knock him out of the tree. They hand me a stick. They told me to hit it out the tree, but I couldn't see it because these things blend in well with the tree. So Mike snatched the stick and he was given specific oh, directions to lightly hit the iguana out so we can grab it. Well, Mike cocks back, and I don't know if he used to play baseball, but bam, he knocked that damn iguana square to the next island. I was, all I heard was, you gotta hit him with this stick. Meanwhile, you hear this loud crash behind me. Look back, Alex done fell out the damn boat. Because these creatures are so evasive and they're everywhere, Another iguana fall out the oh, tree. Here we go. There's other one here completely random that we didn't even see falls out of the tree. Mike grabs him. Oh. Took his back legs to his tail. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Get out your way. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it. You know. All right, Mike. You gotta bite his head off. Nah, we good on this one. I get the next one. <laughs> you don't get that damn thing. For the longest time, these iguanas were just in the city limits and communities, not out here. Really? And we're seeing them more and more making their way out into the Everglades, which okay. we obviously don't want. Yep. They'll degrade the habitat out here more mm -hmm. than it already is. Good job. Cool. Hell yeah. Well done, well done. It was interesting because I was wondering, like, where are we going to put this iguana? And I look over and Python Mike was putting them in these little iguana handcuffs. And I remember him specifically saying, don't worry, we're not hurting them. This is going to hold them for a while. 
and I think he put it in his pocket. It was weird. I never saw the iguana the rest of the night. I didn't ask no questions either. On the ride. Oh, we getting off the boat? Yes, sir. All right, then, let's get off the boat. They say we're getting off the boat. Let's get off the boat. Man, this stuff's thick, man. Let's stick together on this first one. Come here, Moose. I think we should stick together the whole damn time. Why would we not? When I think of island, I'm not thinking of sticks you can't really walk through even when you're trying to walk through it. And then when you actually get through it, another stick, bam, smack you right in the damn face. Here. Oh, damn. And pythons might like, oh, it ain't that thick. I'm like, shit, well, if this if this ain't that thick, I'd hate to see what is. Trotter, yo, you got something on your back, man. Bro, get that shit off me. Uh, you sure? I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> no, you don't. Shit. A little stumble. Unstable. <laughs> Alex bit the dust? Good. You are not alone. So I hear Mike yell, hey, Moose got something. So I run over there and I hear no donuts, his voice saying, Mike. And I'm like, yeah. Oh shit. You can't just say that way, motherfucker. I'm going the path of least resistance, right? Where it's like less sticks. It's like, you almost like make it right at the light. Motherfucker, which light? Yo, where the fuck are they at? I, I saw him coming, I was like, you gotta come this way. He's like, I ain't, I ain't walking through that, no way. Mike's like, not this way, this way. I'm like, but Mike is real, way easier to go this way. I need you to trust me. Come this way, Mike. So him and Alex come around. And he sees snakes like, oh shit. Oh shit, that right there. I decided to have Mike's back, right? Cause I didn't wanna, I wasn't scared of the snake. So when you see this footage, don't think that I got behind Mike because I was scared of the snake. I feel like it was important for me to have his back. I'll let you take the lead on it. Down here. What do you mean let me take the lead? I wasn't asking to take the lead. You can always grab the tail, see what happens to Oh, he's not oh, having Oh shit. It. Okay. Bro. And remember, if you grab him, you'll be surprised how easy they can disappear. You go by the hell out of Oh shit. Oh! You're brave, old son. I didn't even see his head there. He got me. We pulled him out of the tree by the tail. Yeah, hell yeah. And then Mike grabs the tail, and he's like, all right, well, you get his head. I was like, well, you already got the tail, so you probably should just, you know, get the head, too. And then he said, all right, that's a good idea. <laughs> all right, grab him by the head. By the head? Hell no. <laughs> no problem. Sidestep him. If you get that head. And then Mike grabs the head. We got you. Got him, son. He choked him and he's going at him and his blood coming down. Yeah, yeah, if you, if you loosen your, there you go. Dude, you're a pro, man. You got bit. I got bit. You got bit, but you got him. You're fucking Yo. Bit. I love it. I love it. You got him, son. That's what we like to see. Yo, Yo. my man got bit out here by a whole damn yeah. snake. We put the head in the tail end and we wrapped him up. Bag him and tag him, get him back in the boat. And then it was on to the next one. Mike, you did a hell of a job catching that last snake, man. You think because you caught one snake, you the shit now. You said, grab the head. I said, hell no. Nah. And then you found out why I didn't want to grab the head. Don't call me next week when your damn arm fall off. Matter of fact, don't call me no more after this. Because of you, I'm getting rid of all my white friends after this shit. So because I catch on to things so well, my sixth sense starting to kick in and we're on the boat and the music was on, I said, guys, cut the music. And Python Mike was like, I really like to keep the music. I said, no, no, no. I feel something special about to happen. I said, pull over right here. So we, so we pulled over to the island. We rolled up on it. And I said, it's a giant on this one. And I was right. That's what I've been looking for. Everybody for a second was like, Mike, how are you so good at this? Your six cent is so on point. I said, I know but we gotta stay focused, guys. So we dove in on this thing, because it was a giant. He's a nice guy. Come on, Phil, Mike. And I was fighting him, and I was here with it, and I was here with it. He ain't being very Should aggressive. I grab him in a certain spot? And I was choking him, and then he tried to bite me. Oh, he just bit me a little bit. Okay. And I grabbed it, and I was like, Mike, should I put this in the bag? Yeah. We don't nah. do the same thing on this one. No, okay. he belongs here. We, okay, he gets well, a pass. You got a pass this time, buddy. So we let him go, and, um, that's how that one went. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in these streets, I usually don't give passes. Let this be a lesson to all of you. 
Island boys. <laughs> feel like the word must have got out about us. We caught one snake and the rest of them was like, we know Ebony and Ivory must be around. So they went into hiding. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Beat one of y'all ass, man. <laughs> So at that point, we were moving from island to island and not really having much luck. We're looking around, still not finding anything. And Python Mike goes, hey, I think Moose has spotted something. And I got focused. So I sprinted straight through the sticks and I hear Trotter scream like a, like a little girl. And I got this thing cornered. Mike was a little bit behind me. So I said, Mike, we got something. I was like, no way, man. He's like, I found a snake. So, um, I go running over there and I see him like this, again, frozen. So he came and he had my back. Get to work, man. You found him. You gotta get him. I grabbed the tail and I got the tail and he's and, he, and he's and he's jerking me and he's irking me and he's got me this way and he's got me that way. Just just hold on to him. He's gonna. I don't. I pull. Oh shit! I got him. Don't get bit. Don't get bit. Oh shit! Yes, yo, 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 this is all we came for. Ah, come on. I got him, I got him. Pull back, pull back, open up. I'm gonna... Ugh. And I was like, Mike, get the head! I grabbed the dangerous part, per usual, because he's scared. Yeah. Hell yeah. Somebody grab him. Oh. Grab him. Oh. Don't get bit, big fella. Oh, that's what we got to get there. Oh, we got him. Okay, then. Yes, sir. Boy, okay, then. Yo. That's a good one. That's intense that's right there. You wrapped me up. Good, about maybe 10 foot. 10 footer? He stuck me on my finger. Oh, yeah, yeah. he got you good. Wow. Crazy. Trotter, what do you I'm think, man? Florida, huh? Yeah, right? How long do you think that is? About 10 foot. Oh, yes, sir. Boys. Well done. Solid. Thank you, bro. Absolutely. This is awesome. It's what we came to do. That's it. Heavy, too, man. Oh, yeah. She got some weight, too. She's doing good out here. All in all, um, you know, when I think back of everything I thought about what hunting is, right? I always thought savage. I always thought, I always kind of had a bad connotation about it, like almost negative, like why are we killing animals? But it's really for a purpose. But it was a really cool experience. It was cool to see Mike work and see the dog work and to see Moose do his thing and, and sniff out these snakes. And I was glad we got to be a part of it. And um, all in all, it was a good experience. I'm Mike. And I'm Mike. If you guys want to win a trip with us, comment below and let us know where you want to go. What you want to do. If you want to get this crazy, you want to do something a little low key. Let us know in the comments.